Hi, this is Steve Haas, and in this video we're going to talk about how to add a DMARC record in cPanel. DMARC records used to validate emails in order to prevent email spoofing. DMARC, which stands for Domain-Based Message Authentication and Conference, another mouthful, is a record that's defined as DNS records associated with your domain name. The DMARC record contains a set of rules that work with SPF and DKIM records to best provide security for your email. The record also lets email service providers like Gmail or Yahoo know that the domain is using DMARC rules. This tutorial is going to guide you through the setup of DMARC records using the cPanel Zone Editor. Now, a lot of cPanels may not have the Zone Editor. Some may not have the Advanced Zone Editor. So if you don't have the correct Zone Editor or you don't have Zone Editor at all, please contact your hosting provider and ask them to upgrade that for you, please. All right, so setting up DMARC records continued. Step one, log into cPanel. Step two, click on the zone editor under the domains. This here, that's your zone editor. Step three, you will see a list of domains that are being managed by your cPanel account. Click on the manage next to the domain for which you will add the DMARC record. So in other words, over here, Look for the record and then click on this button over here that says Manage. Step four, we'll then see a page with the zone records associated with the domain you've selected. Click on the blue button labeled Add Record. That's this right here. Step five, you'll see a blue highlighted field where you can add a record. Click on the drop down arrow and column and select the type record of txt or text record. Step 6, the default value of TTL or time to live should be left at the 14,400 which I did check is 24 hours. Click on the field labeled valid zone name under the underscore D mark and then hit your tab key and it'll auto fill the uh, zone name for you and it'll look something similar to this right here. Uh, the underscore D mark dot example dot com table below is going to, or the next slide, will show you the settings of each record. Now in here, as you can see, we have a uh, field of DMARC, time to live, like I just told you, 14,400. The record type is a text record or a TXT record. Now in this field, you need to make some choices on how you want your server to handle email from your domain that fails SPF and DKIM validation. Options are outlined below in red. Now, I'm going to ask uh, Josh to also post this little chart for you underneath this uh, video because I know it might be hard for some of you to see it. So, uh, the choices are none, reject, or quarantine. And you can read the rest for yourself. Alternatively, you can request an email report of a failed DMARC validation by adding the valid email addresses such as the following, which are none, reject, and quarantine. So, uh, step eight is click add record to save your record you'll then see your entry listed in the zone uh, records in your zone editor and congratulations you've completed the steps on how to add a dmark record to your domain's dns records good luck thank you